Well, nonprofit organization in the East kicked off with an ambitious goal to feed a thousand hungry people in a day and educate those in need. They have a special story that started it all to serve the community. Ho Jung Ru is at the Joy Soup Kitchen in Greenville where they are serving those meals. Ho Jung. Courtney, it's been a big day for House of Hug Women and Children, and it's been a great turnout here at Joy Soup Kitchen. And I am told that it's been a great day and it meant a lot for those who prepare for this day, but also for those who are here for the meal. Grilled chicken, green beans, potatoes, and dessert. It's a hearty meal House of Hugs for women and children is delivering. But it's more than just food that they're providing. The Hugs Life Enrichment Program will teach people in the community about financial literacy, employability, mental health, and basic life skills all at no cost. Executive Director Sharnice Harris says the organization will provide resources and tools for people to become successful. And she knows the struggles people can face. She says she started drinking at the age of eight, had no doubt in the picture, and had a tough 30 year long battle with addiction. I can remember looking in the mirror and seeing a shell of a person. And I honestly felt like I was going to die. And I remember going to the hospital. And I had been there several times before. I would go in and, oh, I'm having chest pains. Oh, I'm, you know, any reason to just, you know, kind of get a reprieve. She was determined to give back as she came out of the journey of recovery victoriously with the help of the community. Thursday evening, they're delivering hot meals to local shelters, recovery homes, and soup kitchens all part of their program to help those in need. Uh, they, they doing it from, from their heart. Not because they want to do it, they doing it from the heart, from the uh, good Lord and everything. And they kind of spread judgment to, to other people and everything. We're seeing great progress here with reaching the goal of feeding a thousand people today. And Harris says House of Hugs will also be providing a safe haven for all women in need. Reporting live in Greenville, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. It's a big goal, but it sounds like they're going to reach it. All right, thanks, Ho Jung.